From here to Port Clinton, we will loosely trace the western bank of the main branch of the Schuylkill River. The main branch of the Schuylkill River is 135 miles long and empties into the Delaware River at the site of the former Philadelphia Navy Yard. The name Schuylkill was coined by Dutch settlers and means hidden river and refers to its confluence with the Delaware River. of designated train crew members. Port Clinton, home to the Port Clinton Hotel, served as a stagecoach stop between Sunbury and Philadelphia in the early 1800s. The Port Clinton Hotel was a great social center where news from other states and even foreign countries was exchanged. In fact, it became customary when signing the hotel register to add any news that one thought might be of common interest. The Schuylkill Canal was an important transportation link. The last boat to leave Port Clinton's once crowded basin was the Mary Rose, which took a load of coal to the state sanatorium at Hamburg just before the outbreak of World War II in 1939. The railroad became the dominant form of transportation in Port Clinton from the mid-1800s on. Port Clinton is located 78 miles north of Philadelphia on the former Reading Company main line. Today, Port Clinton is an important crossroads on Route 61, just north of Interstate 78. Port Clinton. And ready for all the pictures of the
Fort Clinton and Cross Broad Street. Watch to your left for our recently expanded roundhouse, the very place where the 2102 was proudly restored to operation, our turntable, and our wheel truing shop. The turntable is actually from the Monongahela Railroad in South Brownsville, Pennsylvania, and fit nicely into the old Reading Company pit, which was unearthed in 1998. On our right now is the Little Schuylkill River. We will cross over the Little Schuylkill numerous times along our route. this area. As a matter of fact, this area is one of the largest suppliers of Christmas trees on the East Coast. whistles for the Route 895 and 443 crossing or Hughes Street. The tracks pass right through the center of town on a long straight line, making this another popular spot for photographers. Thanks. 
explosives used in this region's prevalent mining industry. The site is now home to Copperhead Chemical Company. Copperhead manufactures pharmaceutical brand nitroglyc nitroglycerin used in heart medications, as well as explosives used in propellants, fuel additives, and defense munitions applications. They're bombs. <laughs> Oh, these aren't, these aren't regular pies. These are bomb. They're made the bomb factory. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 segment of double track railroad at equilateral interlocking and tomorrow Yard, where we will see even more freight awaiting distribution to local customers. downtown Tamaqua, we see our Greenwood running track diverge to the east. Watch to your left for the old QA Telegraph office of the Reading Company, which dates back to the 1880s. The odd shape of the building is due to its location inside a wide track that once existed here to connect Tamaqua and Pottsville. As we cross Broad Street, watch for the former Reading Company Tamaqua passenger station on your left, built in 1874. The structure barely escaped demolition several times since passenger service was discontinued by the Reading Company in 1961. In 2004, the Tamaqua Save Our Station Group proudly completed a one and a half million dollar renovation of the building. The beautifully restored station now houses a restaurant. In 2020, Andy Muller and the Reading and Northern Railroad 
spent tens of thousands of dollars to restore and extend the platform to trackside, which allows for station stops here on select passenger excursions. Also this year, the United States Postal Service immortalized the Tamaqua State. Once again, folks, all doors and windows on the train should be closed, and no one should be moving between cars at this time, as we are approaching the Tamaqua Tunnel, which was bored through the mountain in 1854. As you might guess, we will cross the Little Schuylkill River on both sides of the tunnel. The next two junctions, first Hawks, then Carbon, host connecting tracks that lead to our line to Hazleton and the Humboldt Industrial Park, a major source of freight traffic for the Reading and Northern Railroad. Also at Hawks, the 2102 leaves its home rails of the former Reading Company and switches onto those of the former Central Railroad of New Jersey for the remaining 17 miles of our trip to Jim Thorpe. The sprawling EMD Electronics plant, formerly for Zoom Materials, is on the left side of the train. Look for white-tailed deer and turkeys in the fields surrounding the plant. Next, we'll cross Fairview Street and Church Road in Rush Township. We'll dive into the woods once more, but only briefly, as we approach the hometown high bridge.
first incarnation of the bridge was completed in 1870 when this line was first built. It was made entirely of wooden timbers. The threat of fire caused by the hot coals and sparks from steam locomotives was a constant problem. To safeguard against this, two watchmen were employed to inspect the bridge following the passage of every train. They lived nearby in company-owned homes and worked 12-hour shifts. In the event of a fire, wooden barrels filled with water along with buckets were placed on either side of the bridge approximately every 100 feet. It should be noted that in those early days there were no side railings on the bridge. However, the wooden structure was built in such a way that any piece of timber watched the bridge around the clock. The last time the bridge was guarded in such a manner was during the 1948 presidential campaign of Harry S. Truman. Truman traveled over 30,000 miles across 28 states, giving over 350 speeches from the platform of his private rail car, the Ferdinand Magellan. The famous news photo of Mr. Truman holding up the November 3, 1948 Chicago Tribune article, erroneously proclaiming Dewey defeats Truman, was taken from the platform. This 330-acre spring-fed lake was originally built in 1883 as the Hotto Dam. It is now privately owned and used by boaters and fishermen. The Hotto Estates, a private lakeside resort community, can be seen on the North Shore. You can climb up top there. It's a really cool view. But it's a little bit of a wall. You us along Route 54, we have okay. to Squahoning, the last small town we will pass through before Jim Ford. We are greeted on the left by the newest additions to the Reading and Northern Railroad, the buildings that are being transformed into our Nesquahoning campus. This location is ideally situated in the middle of our main line between North Reading and Pittston.
Nesquahoning itself was founded in 1830 by the Lehigh Coal and Navigation Company to provide housing for the employees mining anthracite in the nearby Room Run Mine. The tracks pass directly through this residential neighborhood. Bridge opened for service in February of 2020 <laughs> and allows the Reading and Northern Railroad a progressive move. Okay. Scenic Railway Train. The Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway Train is the one that you will have the opportunity to ride if you wish. It operates out of the Jim Forbes Station every hour on the hour into the Lehigh Gorge State Park on a 16-mile, 45-minute round trip. You will be able to ride the 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, or 3 o'clock trains into the Lehigh Gorge, but no later than 3 o'clock. If you ride the 4 o'clock train into the Lehigh Gorge, you will return to Jim Thorpe afterward, only to discover that we have gone bye-bye. Tickets for the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway are available at the booth located at the west end of the station platform. The hiking and biking trail to your left was added a few years ago to link the trail in the Lehigh Gorge to Jim Thorpe. This trail is a portion of the 165-mile Delaware and Lehigh National Heritage Corridor. If you were to ride one of our popular bike trains, this is the same path you would glide down for the 25-mile return trip from Whitehaven to Jim Thorpe. Sounds good. Yeah, like you're free heads toward Blakesley, deep in the Poconos. Jim Thorpe is on the southwestern tip of the Pocono region, which includes Carbon, Monroe, Pike, and Wayne counties. Millions of people visit the Poconos each year to participate in outdoor activities, stay at one of the dozens of resorts, or take sightseeing trips. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching the station at Jim Thorpe. If you wish to get shots of the train in the 2102, you'll have a couple opportunities today. First, once the train has been emptied, 2102 will shove the consist westward in preparation to be turned. After the train has been turned, 2102 will return to the yard just west of the station for display while the crew services it. And finally, the 2102 will pull the train back into the station for boarding, immediately following the departure of the 4 o'clock Lehigh Gorge train. Boarding for our train will begin at approximately 4.05 p.m., and we will depart Jim Fork at 4.20 p.m. sharp. Speaking of the Lehigh Gorge train, you will see that passing right now on our right. That's the one you'll have the chance to ride at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, or 3 o'clock today. Remember your coach numbers. You will have the same seat for the return trip. The train will not be accessible while we are in town. Therefore, please take anything you may need along with you. You may, of course, leave anything you wish on the train, and no one will bother it. Remember to carry your ticket stubs with you, as you will be required to present them to your car attendant prior to boarding the return trip. 
Finally, folks, one other important point of order. Remember that the train will be completely turned around. Therefore, the last car to arrive will also be the last car to leave this afternoon. Your seat will be facing the opposite direction and you will be sitting on the other side of the train for the return trip. Again, boarding will commence at approximately 4.05 and we will depart promptly at 4.20 p.m. Please be on time and make sure you board the correct train. The other trains operating in Jim Thorpe today are not going anywhere close to Port Clinton or North Reading, and to say the least, it's a long walk back. <laughs> also, folks, those, those silver cars that we just passed are the other train that I talked about. That train came from Pottsville about 45 minutes ahead of us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as our conductor has the train properly spotted in the station, he will give the okay to your car attendants to detrain you. Please exit the train only where there's a uniformed car attendant with an open door and step box. Please follow their instructions, such as take your time, watch your step, hold on to the handrails, and look down as you exit. We do not want anyone getting hurt. That's it for our northbound trip. We'll see you back here at 4.05. Till then, Rusky at us. So long.
use our engine, this is our fire. Wow.
are traveling through right now is the Nesquehalli Junction. If we were to follow the left track, we would travel to the town of Nesquehalli, cross over the hometown high bridge, pass through Tamaka, and ultimately reach Reading. The track we will be traveling on leads us to the Reading and Northern's main line and to the entrance of the Lehigh Gorge State Park. To your left is the abandoned PQ Switch Tower, which was the control center for trains traveling through the junction until April 1972. As we prepare to head into the Lehigh Gorge State Park, you will see a bridge on your left. This bridge, which connects Reading and Northern's Reading and Lehigh divisions, was constructed by the railroad to expedite moves between Reading and Scranton. It officially opened for rail traffic on February 4th, 2020. The bridge we are traveling on now spans the Lehigh River, provides a connection for both rail and pedestrians between Jim Thorpe and the Lehigh Gorge State Park. To the left, you will get a nice view of East Matcha, now known as Jim Thorpe. And on the other side, on our right side, you can look straight down into the river if you're not afraid of heights. Last trip, I had one lady almost lay on the floor. She was so scared. The next bridge we pass through is the Colport Bridge which spans the former Lehigh Valley Railroad once owned by Lisa Packer. It crosses over what is now the Reading and Northern's Lehigh Branch and the Norfolk Southern Railway's Lehigh Line. Thank you. 
Storyville to Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and later extended the left, and you follow the signs for Glen Anoko Park. Yeah, it's very nice. There's a lot of nice hiking trails. Um, you can put uh, your watercraft into the water up, up that direction and float on down as far as you want to go. Right on out to the ocean. And back to our state lizard. The state lizard is the eastern hellbender. And the state tree, anybody? Make sure if you placed anything up on the racks or under your seat that you take that with us. We already have several things in the lost and found. And if you'd like any more information about our train rides, we have a lot of other train rides. We have Santa Claus train, we have Easter Bunny train, we have 25 mile long bike trains and several other trains that you can take. If you'd like information, you can give us a call at our uh, number that's on our flyers right here. You can pick one up here and find out a lot more about our company and also about career opportunities if anyone's looking for a job. We have, I think, about six to eight job openings of all different kinds on all different departments. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of the festival and have a safe trip home. Thank you. Once the train has come to a complete stop, you will be ready for boarding. Please only board where we have an open door and step box with a uniform crew member present. Once again, please remain behind that yellow line for your safety. Thank you.
get it? <laughs> listen, listen. I, w I was working around, my phone was focused on everyone else's cameras. And I'm like, no, get off. Go away. You had to take the same seat that you were in, but the, the train switches sides. Well, who's sitting in your seat? Well, everyone has seats, so forget it. Let me get this, get this stuff out of here.
Nesquahone. Tippet Swamp. saw that too. <laughs>
Fredrickson and Reynolds Consumer Products. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the hometown high bridge. Yes. This kid is headed to the swear to God. No, I'm just crossing the hometown bridge. Yeah, I got a long way to go.
Aqua Tunnel. The ops, not the ops. <laughs> you saw that too. He's holding up the line. He is. He, he's making hard for all the farmers to foam. Oh my god. Why for him? The ops. He's foaming hard. What's he gonna do? Get himself? Yeah. Yeah, we're, he's, he's with 611.
step locks. That would be Joe and Larry. Please follow their instructions such as take your time, watch your step, hold on to the handrails and look down as you exit. We do not want anyone getting hurt. We hope you enjoyed your trip today and that you'll come back and see us again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.
Oh, what a wedding gift. <laughs> oh, what's that? Yo, that's nice. The black diamond? There they are, folks. Let's really hear it for them. Thank you. 